This is Aglaia. She is sassy and she loves little things. She plays the cello, but she hates to practice. Aglaia is seven years younger than me and seven years smarter. Once, our family drove home to find that our house's lights were all mysteriously turned on. Absent-mindedly, I asked, why are the lights on? To which Aglaia responded, the lights are on because they are not off. She was three. Aglaia always reminds me how to be silly. She's also a magnificent dancer. Aglaia always reminds me that I am a dope. She talks to me like she knows more than I do, and I'm pretty sure she does. She's like my wise older sister, even though she's 12. Aglaia cuts her own hair and makes her own rules. She once tried to forge a sick note to give to her teacher in third grade. She would have gotten away with it had she not written the note in crayon and signed it mom. After watching our mom cook a lobster alive, Aglaia decided to become a vegetarian. I thought she was just being dramatic, but she's so stubborn that she stuck with it for like two years. Ironically though, she became a pescatarian midway through because she really likes sushi. This seemed counterintuitive to her original sentiments about the lobster, but I guess that's neither here nor there. Then, one day, I came home to find Aglaia eating chicken nuggets, and that was that. Aglaia calls me Ujbi because she says it's more fun to say than Albi. She calls my dad Augie, which is a secondary derivation of his original nickname, Eggy, which Aglaia coined after noticing that my dad's head is shaped like an egg. Aglaia just calls mom, mom. Aglaia is always making things. Her most recent project is called Mr. Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles is a character she created, and she's also created an armada of Mr. Bubble iterations to go alongside the original Mr. Bubbles. My favorite iterations include Celebration Mr. Bubbles, Mr. Bubbles as a King, and Hanukkah Mr. Bubbles. Aglaia said she originally drew Hanukkah Mr. Bubbles' menorah with only five candles because that's how many she thought there were. When her friend Zoe told her that there were nine, Aglaia replied, I know that. I just haven't finished drawing it yet. My dad always calls me Goose, and he calls Aglaia Moose. And I think this is why. While the Goose is confident and loud, the Goose is often wrong. The Moose, on the other hand, is quiet and contemplative. When the moose makes noise, it is purposeful and meaningful. The goose can fly, yes, but the moose is tall and has four stable legs. The goose is fast and clever, but the moose is steadfast and brave. The moose is also beautiful, but sometimes it compares itself to the goose, which doesn't make any sense because the moose is a moose and the goose is a goose. Sometimes, the moose wishes it could be just like the goose, but the goose knows it couldn't be the goose without the moose being 
the moose. The goose loves the moose with all of his heart. And the moose, I know, will always protect the goose. <laughs>